Welcome back to East Coast Outdoorsman. I'm Chris Ben. My lovely wife is running the camera for me today. This is just going to be a... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're good. Every time. <laughs> this is going to be super short. I got a wild hair in my ass today. Um, stopped by Wegmans. They happen to have some fresh mahi. Well, as fresh as it can be for up here. And I'm like, you know, I don't think I've cooked any fish yet on the channel and mahi is one of our favorites so we're gonna cook some mahi and give you a rundown on kind of some of the things we like one thing we're gonna try just a little something different and we're gonna be cooking them on the plank cedar plank is soaking 45 minutes to an hour soaking that thin plank is fine but like I said I got about a pound and a half of mahi, um, really good looking fillets. Try to keep them all similar sizes, so you know they cook the same. One doesn't cook more than the other. Blah blah blah. So one of the things I like to do as soon as you get the fish out, dab it off. Try to make sure that there's nothing in there that you don't want on it. I don't know. Like I've said before, I'm a dabber. I always try to dab off everything. I don't necessarily recommend running fresh fish underwater if you're out um, and you catch it and you're doing it yourself or you have a captain with you or something. I like to leave the brine on it, but you can probably get away with rinsing this off if you want to. But what all we're doing today is I'm going to make like kind of like a little, what we call like a I don't know if it's the right thing. We call it a mahi bowl. We're gonna use some uh, ready-made rice. Remember, I'm all about simple, fast, easy. A little cilantro lime, ready-made uh, ready rice. You know, you throw that in the microwave for 30, 90 seconds. 90 seconds, you got your rice. Some fresh tomato, we'll cut it up. Uh, lime for that and this. But what we're gonna do with these is, one, I'm gonna use a kicking Cajun for a little spice. We're gonna go heavy on one, a little lighter on one, and then on this last one, we're gonna do a little garlic salt, cilantro, and lime. Um, literally just cut up some limes, we're gonna just put that right on there, and that's, that's what this is gonna be. So, let me, uh, I messed up, took off the wrong glove because I wasn't paying attention, whatever. I can't take them with me, right? Might as well use them. Glove on the left hand. So all we're gonna do for the mahi is just a little bit of oil on both sides. Just give a nice thin coating of oil. It doesn't take much, you just want a little Little tiny bit. That was too much. Get it nice and spread around. There we go. And then, like I said, we're gonna do a light Cajun seasoning. Um, just a light sprinkle on one. Is that considered light? To me it is, yeah. Okay, not too much on mine. This is yours. Oh, okay. And on this one, a little heavier because I like a little, little spice. I like to know I'm eating something spicy. Uh, this Cajun seasoning came from Wegmans. It's their kicking Cajun. It's good stuff. All right, and then for this one, you don't have to get carried away because fish is very light. Uh, you're not trying to bury the fish. Very similar to how I say about everything else is you don't want to bury. What was that it. you just put on? That was garlic, little garlic powder. This little garlic salt. And hit it with a little bit of the cilantro leaves. 
Uh, fresh would be better, but I didn't feel like cutting it, so. Yeah, we have it. Gonna flip it. Do it all again. Very light with the garlic salt. Uh, like I always say, you can always add more. You can't necessarily take it away. So don't get carried away your first time out. If you want more, you can add more. Like when this is done, I'll probably cut up some fresh cilantro and give it a nice sprinkle of fresh cilantro. And then before this one goes on, I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple limes, throw them on it so that cooks through. I'm probably gonna put a lime on everything. You want a lime on yours too? What was that banging? That's Danica upstairs playing oh. video games. Yeah. Just because I like lime. I don't yeah. think it hurts. Um, so that's super simple prep, like I said. This is gonna be our base. Uh, 90 seconds, it's done. We use the beautiful, cilantro lime. Beautiful piece of fish. This, great meal, healthy, but that's it. So once the trigger gets up to temperature, we're gonna run about 400 degrees, throw them on the plank, and I'll take you out when we put them on, go over about times roughly how long they uh, will cook. And then when it's done, we'll try it out and let you know what we think. There you go. Oh. What's up, Jobby? Hold on, Jobby, mommy, you gotta get shoes. And action. And so the cedar plank is on. It's been on for about three minutes. Just gonna give it a quick flip. And then we're gonna put these on. This is the lightly seasoned with the blackening season. This is the spicy boy and then this is the uh, kind of just like a more mellow garlic lime I think it's gonna be amazing but there you go maybe 10 minutes what's uh, the temperature if I was flipping it back and forth I would do like five minutes each side at 350 to 400 I'm running 400 probably 10 minutes I'm gonna come out at like eight minutes check see how it's flaking off um you don't want to overcook fish because then it gets really hard and nasty so that's what we're gonna do there so we'll be back with you in about 10 minutes oh yeah hey we're... shop dog wants his ball thrown I mean all right it's been about 10 15 minutes the fish is cooked uh, just show you real quick nice and flaky see how it's just falling apart nice and flakes white all the way through nice and moist I'm going to try to pick this up without dumping the fish I think I know what I was doing We'll get this inside, get the rice made up, and I'll uh, show you how we uh, go from there. There you go. So, so I don't want to put it on here, but I guess. it would be all right. Mmm, that actually smells really good. Now, what do you do with the cedar planks? What do you mean? Do you have to throw those out? No, just wash it. Nice. I'm not waiting. I'm getting right into it. <sighs> this one I think here you is throw the, the cedar uh, plank away. This one here is the uh, heavy seasoning one. Look at that fish. That's why I love my beautiful flaky moist a little bit of heat nothing crazy super good fish super tender a little bit of lime on it that just drizzles over that's gonna be awesome what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, rice made up got some odds and ends throw together a little bowl here and then we'll have the uh the boss try it and let me know what she thinks of probably this one and this one 
give her a little bit of both. Let her see which one she likes more. Yeah. That's good. Alright. Don't forget to get uh, some fresh lime squirted on your... I said squirt. Half of the mild one. And you're getting half of the uh, kind of garlic salt, cilantro, lime, some fresh limes, some tomatoes. Like good food doesn't have to be crazy and fancy. Some fresh vegetables, good piece of fish, nice rice. Getting some of them lime wedges. Get in there. I'm taking two. You take three. Love some lime. And cilantro. Done. And that's pretty much how we make our, like, you know, we call them fish bowls, bowls, fish bowls, whatever. Am I allowed to film you taking a bite? Yeah. What do you think? Which one did you try there? Was that the mild one or was that the uh, garlic the, one? The Cajun. Yeah, my little Cajun The sauce. reduced Cajun one from yours. Now I'm going to try the other one. Maybe. Maybe. With a bite of tomato, cilantro, and some rice. What do you think? Mm. Either or. Fantastic. Really. The lime on it makes, the ba makes it. All right, I'm going to go eat. Yep. Ciao. All right, so... So there you have it. That's uh, kind of a real quick how we make our like fish bowls or we call them. Some cheap rice, the lemon cilantro, 90 seconds of microwave, good cut of meat, uh, some fresh, throw it all together. Have yourself a nice healthy meal, have a drink or two and enjoy your family. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you for subscribing and watching. I appreciate you all more than you understand because it gives me something to do. And big things are coming. Almost time to tell you all. So stay tuned. Keep following along. And we're going to have a lot more adventures coming. Thank you all. Peace.